Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial with me. Today we're going to learn how to do three things on the pole. First we're going to learn how to climb, then we're going to learn how to sit and from sitting we'll try to do a nice swan pose and a little extra bonus we will add a plank in the end. So basically in this tutorial we'll get four moves. So let's start off with the basics, climbing, Maybe you already know how to climb, then skip this part. If you don't, let's move on. <laughs> so, to climb, we use our legs. So, we're going to use our front of the leg and the back of the leg. So, the front of the leg is going to go against the pole, making sure that you're keeping your knee pit really close to the pole, so you're not sliding through here. That's a mistake, so that's a mistake you want to avoid. Pushing the leg into the pole, bringing the other leg in front of the pole. So one in the back, other in the front. Make sure to really push into the pole. You want to feel like you want to push the pole away from you, basically. So that's how hard you want to pull. The other leg that comes on top, you will squeeze the pole between your knees. So really make sure to squeeze those knees together. Your hands, one hand will be going onto the pole using your elbow and your forearm to hold on, again pushing into the pole, other hand goes here. Make sure that your hands are a bit bent, so don't put them high up straight, because that means you need more extra energy to pull yourself up. So, keeping both hands a bit bent, pushing the first leg in, keeping the toes flexed, and bringing the other leg in, squeezing, squeezing as hard as you can, and pushing up from your hips, and push, pulling up from your hands. Taking the hands slightly higher, sliding the legs higher, and going higher. And to come down, slowly release your leg grip. As you can see, my pole, my home is not so high, so I can do two climbs and I'm already at the top. But if you have more height, try to do more. Make sure to practice both sides. So let's go up, over again, all the important details. Leg is pushing into the pole, hand is pushing into the pole, hand comes on top, holding on strongly, bringing the other leg on top, pushing yourself up, pushing your body up, keeping yourself nice and strong, taking your hands higher, sliding your legs higher, pushing up and coming down. So this is the climb, just keep practicing it. If you already know how to climb and you want to make it more beautiful, Try to point your toes. So right now, at the beginning we're using flex toes, but you want to point them. So to do a pointed toe climb, you'll push the legs same way in, but now you keep your point, toes pointed. Bringing the hands here, bringing the leg here, pulling up and trying to go higher yet again. Pulling the legs higher, keeping the toes pointed and coming down. Basically, everything is the same. So this is a basic time for you to practice. Let's move on to the next thing, sitting. So to sit, when we sit on the pole, we can't be sitting straight with our hips, because then we'll slide down. So in order to stay in your sit, you want to push your hip up and really get the pole into your inner thigh, so really into here. So you can do it two ways. One is going from the floor, and second is going from the up. Part. So to go from the floor, grab onto the pole, face height, stand on your toes, make a little small jump, but be careful not to hit your pubic bone. So you go up, up here, cross your legs, twist to the side, really important, bend your legs and try to stay here. And come out. If this feels nice, the next step would be to bring your hands in front of the pole. So keep in mind, when you are sitting on your left hip, so your left hip is higher, pointing to the sky or the ceiling, wherever you are, depending, maybe you're outside. Anyways, not important. <laughs> so we'll be here. So when my left hip is the holding one, which means my left hip is turned up, then my left hand will come in front of the pole and start pushing back, so keeping the pole in your armpit. Keeping a nice hold here, holding, holding, holding and then bringing your hands back around and coming slowly out. So, doing it back once again from the ground. Do a jump, 
twist your legs, sorry not twist but cross your legs, twist your hips, legs into the pole, slowly try to come here and come out. Make sure to not do a really big common mistake which is taking your body away and trying to bring your hand like this. This will make everything so much harder. So really, really, really keep your body close to the pole. It will help you so much. If you feel pain here, don't worry. The pain will go away. Eventually, the more you practice it, the more you get used to it, the more easier it gets. So don't be discouraged because of the pain. Just keep going. So if you want to do the same thing from a higher level, basically, then you can try it. So you go up, one, two, Come into a sit the same way, so lifting your legs close to the pole, bending the knees, bringing your hand past the pole, coming into a swan pose. So this is a swan pose, yeah? You come out, come slowly out, return to the climb, and step out. So, you want to get the pole really close here. As soon as you lift your legs up, try to cross them, and then bend them. So, once more. Recline, going up, coming into a sit, close the knees, close to the pole, bring the past hand past the pole, then you're in a swan pose. To come out, grab the pole and slowly step out. So you'll have your grip in the swan pose in your thigh, in your thigh. You'll have it under your armpit. And if you don't feel comfortable, don't release the bottom hand. You can keep it hooked. Not, sorry, not hook, but holding on. So, that was our swan pose and our sitting and climbing. So, as I mentioned before, I'll give you a small bonus video here. So, I will show you how to do a plank. So, a plank is basically still a sitting move, because you're still going to be in your thigh, but now you're going to try to get your body straight. So, basically, it's like a bow and arrow. So, I'll show you first the move and then I'll explain it. So now we'll be doing a nice straight sit. So now you're going to keep your legs straight but still cross to keep the nice tightness in there. Lower hand will go, so my lower hand will be my left hand, will go under my bum. So basically it's quite close to the bum but I'm not sitting on my hand. So make sure you do not sit on your hand. I'm keeping my thumb up. If for some reason this feels super uncomfortable for you, you can try and do it the other way around. For me, this feels good, so I'm using this one. My upper hand is also close to my body, cause, because <laughs> the further away the hand is, so basically the higher the hand is, the harder it is for you to, to open your body. So when our hand is here, we can't open it, but when our hand is low, we can open our chest and our shoulder as well, which means the move will look so much better. So, starting off with a climb, Climbing up, coming into a sit, crossing the legs, bringing one hand close to your body, holding on strongly, pushing into the pole, bringing the other hand down, and push your chest forward, and push your legs back. And come out, release the bottom hand, bring the hands higher, and step out. So as you can see, it's quite a nice move. At first it could be scary, so you can use crash mats for sure when you're practicing new moves. But otherwise, I think you can do it, so give yourself some couple of tries. But to remember, twist the hips into the pole. Upper hand strong, lower hand strong, hands are close together. And everything, keeping tight, so core tight, legs tight, so pushing back from your body like this. Push, 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 push. So, these are my four moves for you today. I hope you enjoy them. If you have any questions, requests, or something you want me to show you more, please show me this. I'm sorry. Please let me know. Share me some pictures, videos, so I can teach you how to do these things. And happy polling, and I hope you enjoy my videos. Bye!